Hi there and welcome to 100 Days of Anthropology Stories, where I take a small image from an anthropology catalog and I create a collaged mixed media piece around it and write a story. And you'll find the stories on Instagram at Robin Marie. We are on week 10 and that runs through day 70. So we are only 30 more days until the end of the project. I'm super excited about it. I'm so happy I stuck with it this long. And you guys have been a real encouragement to me. So thank you for following along. So let's take a look at week 10. And this is day 74. And day 74, like many of my images, or my pieces, are multi-layered. So there's just a whole bunch of pieces. In fact, this one has one, two, three, four, and five. So there's like five different layers on this one. And I just kind of kept building it in its length. It's funny how you see this little trend coming coming through as you work. And one of the things I've noticed is there my pieces are just super grungy and super messy. And it's a lot because I'm just taking stuff that's in the pile on my work table. And I'm not thinking too much about it. And I'm really liking how they're coming out. So um, this one has a stamped image on it. There's some you know watercolor paper. There's stitching. And the image from the catalog is this page right here. It's a it's a path or a road with some grass on the side. You can see here's the back of the um, the back of the page. So that's day 64. Day 65, another piece of watercolor paper. I folded a small piece of, of watercolor paper that had been inked and I stitched it on. Bunches of layers here, some random stitching, some stenciling and stamping. And the image is this small little piece here from the catalog, and it's a small piece of a rug with some fringe on it. So that is day 65. Day 66 has been the most popular, I think, of all of my projects. I think we have a lot of dog lovers in the group. So this actually is a tag, a shipping tag, and I just extended it with an art pop card. And then I stitched on a small piece here. I just thought it looked good right there under the dog just to kind of uh, make the, the, the tag a little bit longer and adding some of that color to coordinate with the color up here. So this is the image from the catalog, and it's a dog. They were um, dishes that had a lot of different animals on them, and they were just really fun and quirky, and I thought he was perfect for this. So that's day 66. Day 67, again, is this is actually an envelope. This is a, I was just sitting on the desk, and I thought I'd use it, so it's an envelope. And I added some uh, paper from my mixed media art paper book. This is ba uh, paper book three. And then I had this other piece that was painted and uh, in my stash it was of a flower. So I cut it and then I stitched it to the top of the envelope. And the pieces from the catalog are just these random little, this is a flower, and these little pieces of purple. And I just coordinated uh, with the purple and the greens that are in this one. So that is day 67. Day 68, another piece of watercolor paper and I corner rounded this one, I added some stamping and stenciling. There's a torn piece of an art pop card right here. And then this was also a small piece of some, just some black and white stenciled uh, papers in my stash. And so I cut it and I stitched it up there and made a tag, a tab out of it. And then the image here is the flowers uh, from the catalog. All right, that's day 68. Day 69, again, another piece of just random paper. And this one had some stenciling and some stamping on it already. And so I just layered on it and built it up by adding some, um, some paper that had these little paint swirls. I have a little piece of an art pop card there, masking tape, some other paints, uh, paper scraps. And then I sewed a random tab at the top as well. And then the photo from the catalog, obviously, is the glass jar with the candlestick and the candle. So that is day 69. And day 70 is a... Uh, Starbucks uh, pastry bag. I've been loving working with these pastry bags. I love the way they crinkle and the way they sound. And this one has uh, an art pop card here at the top that I took. Um, this is actually a garment tag. Uh, my friend Susan sends these to me. Uh, it's an anthropology garment tag and has a button on it. It says, keep this little button safe, though humble he could be of great use one day. And I love that. And the button is still on there. And so I, I glued it to an art pop card and added some ribbon, stitched it a little, and then created the flap. And this is the image on the uh, from the catalog. It's a windowsill. You can see the, the outside garden, and there's a fan in the window. 
I did some stamping, some random stamping, more layers of paper, text paper, colored un you know, under paper, the stuff that's on the work surface. When you're working and you are like, man, that looks awesome. Here's some example. And you, I just take pieces of it and add it to uh, my work and it makes it super easy to create um, a collage. So that is day number 70. So that's week 10. Thank you so much for joining me for the review of week 10. I hope you're enjoying the series. I really appreciate all the kind comments and uh, the reaching out you've done. I'm glad you're enjoying it. You're being inspired and it's really motivating me. I can't believe I'm already through day 70. It's so exciting. 30 more days. So thank you so much. And until next time, bye-bye.